What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Investing with Jack. So I wanted to go over SafeMoon. I wanted to go over the technical analysis um, as well as a little bit of what's going on on their Twitter. Um, so I'm gonna enlarge this for you guys so it's a bit easier to see. So we're here on the four hour chart for SafeMoon. And we can see we're consolidating. Um, we're, we've gone into a bit of a symmetrical wedge here. You can see our bull pennant. Um, so what most likely is gonna happen for SafeMoon is we're gonna squeeze and we're going to either break upwards or we're going to break downwards. Now we can see here on the four hour, um, we found some support on the 20 EMA, which is a great sign. We want the candles to be above the 20 EMA. As we can see here, we are super overextended. We broke away from the 20 EMA um, and we just pump, pump, pumped, and that's gonna trigger a sell off, all right guys? So it's bullish that the 20 EMA is above the 50 EMA here. So what we'll see is the price will squeeze and hopefully we break out of this wedge here and we start to trend upwards and we break through resistance um, at 5,679. I'm not gonna say all those zeros, so I'll just say um, 5697. And if we can break through that resistance, that's a great sign that will go up and we'll retest um, about 6884. So if I put a little line right here for you guys, right there. So I quickly want to pull up the MACD and the RSI so you can see them here. Um, so we have our MACD, I believe I turned it into white. Yeah, this bogged finance is new to me. So you can see here on the MACD, um, on the four hour, it's it's just hugging the signal line. So what we wanna see is the MACD come over top and start to trend upwards. And we're sitting at about uh, 48 on the RSI. So let's quickly put it onto the one day. So if we look at SafeMoon here on the one day, you can see how overextended it was. Um, and now we started to catch up to the 20 EMA. So what we wanna see is we consolidate uh, the 20 EMA catches up again before we see our next leg up. So on the one day on the RSI, we're sitting about 64. Um, so I would like to see that come down a little bit because um, when we trend above 70, we start to get overbought. And if we get too high, we were up at 90 uh, when we started to sell off. So we can see on the one day, um, the MACD is still over top of the signal line, which is bullish. So what we wanna see is we consolidate, we break out, we break resistance at 56, about 56.90, and then we start to make higher highs and higher lows and go up to test um, 68.65. Now, of course, um, the market is slow right now. We're going through the correction, so you can see here with the volume, I really don't like this <laughs> this website for charting, but that's okay. Uh, we can see here with the volume, it, ha it has descended quite a bit, um, but so has the overall market. I mean, most of the coins, the volume is quite down. So when the market begins to pick up again um, is, is when most of the coins, um, including SafeMoon, uh, we'll start to see the upward trend once again, but it's good that we've, um, we're over top of the 20 EMA on the four hour, the 50 EMA has caught up and we're using that 20 EMA as support. All right, guys. So still a ton of interest, obviously in safe moon, uh, with investors. Now, if we hop over here to their Twitter, uh, we can see safe moon is the freedom of the unbanked. This was released 23 hours ago. I'm sure some of you have already heard about it. So it has to do with what's going on in Africa. Um, so if we read here on their Q4, um, we will finish the Safe Moon Exchange and our charity projects. We will finish integrations with our first African market and begin the next integrations with additional African markets. We will create an African-based Safe Moon office and begin hiring in those markets and create jobs. So, I mean, that's a great sign. If they're gonna move into the African market and also go over to Africa to create jobs. And when they talk about the unbanked, um, that refers to people who don't use banks, who just um, basically run their life with the cash that's in their wallet or under their mattress. Um, so if they're gonna go into Africa and try to help those people create jobs and maybe create some sort of financial system with SafeMoon, then SafeMoon now has a utility, which would be big, all right, guys? And if we scroll up here, uh, we can see, I love it. <laughs> it's hard being the number one cryptocurrency on the planet. Yeah, I bet you guys became number one pretty quick. So um, right here, so India, hashtag SafeMoon soon. Um, so that tells me they're gonna they're gonna open up on an exchange in India. So another exchange for SafeMoon, which is awesome and will increase the interest 
as well as the price. All right, guys. So I'm going to enlarge this one more time for you guys to see. Um, so we may consolidate here for, you know, a few more days uh, before we see that breakout and test resistance at uh, 5705. So I'm hoping we hold this line of support at uh, 1452 about. Um, but if we were to break that, well, we could come back down to this bottom here of 3310. I don't think we're going to sell off any more than that. Um, but hopefully the market corrects. Um, we start to see this consolidation. We break through this wedge and we break through the resistance at about uh, 50, 56 90. All right, guys. All right, guys. So that is it for Safe Moon. Um, it's exciting to see that they'll possibly be on an exchange in India. That's what that um, signifies to me, as well as what's going on with Africa. Um, it just shows that Safe Moon is progressing, it's growing, and it will possibly have a utility, uh, which will be huge and make all the people that are hating on Safe Moon uh, invest into Safe Moon. All right, guys. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Much love, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.